some of the other features that we've added to 2012.1. We now have the ability to rename our output formats. So in a case like this, I can go and easily rename this to a name that makes a bit more sense to me for the project. So I'm going to call that one HD and this one I'm going to rename PAL 16 by 9 and I'm going to apply those settings and I have some new output format names. On the import side we've added an option to the AAF import that will allow us to ignore audio tracks on import. Also, when importing an EDL, we now have the option to choose that we would like to conform to material that is only inside the open folder in the library. We've added a new shape tool called AutoBezier. We've added the ability to take a grade that has been applied in the master layer and to append that into a normal color correction layer. We can also take grades that were created in the master layer and export them as a LUT. This will then allow me to use that LUT in a CMS tool by selecting my custom LUT. The same LUT can also be used on external devices such as the Dolby Reference Grade Monitor.